Hello guys, Uofla here, and I'm here to show you a basic tutorial- Oh, crud. I used my cardiac. Well, ignore that. Um, I'm here to show you a basic tutorial on how to move, like this, and how to shoot, like that. Now, bear with me, because this is gonna be crazy. Mind-blowing, even. Let me show you the basics to moving. Like, see what I was doing right there? It actually works. It makes you a little fa- like, re little, way like, just that tiny bit faster and less predictable. Now, I guess you could spam this, but you have this tiniest pause at the end of it where you just don't move at all, which is the perfect time for assassins and other people to shoot you. Yeah. So you want to try to jump and move. And then only do that when you see a sniper. Like, oh crud! Yeah, it's mainly for dodging, that's what I use it for. I guess you guys can use it for whatever, but mainly if you want to move, jump like this. This is how you move, this is how you move like a noob. And this video is from, uh, Arushin, and this is how you move like a pro. Okay, so, now, now this is the reason why you do want to move. Because that'll happen, and it's bad. Very bad if that happens. Because <laughs> that's pretty much what it's like online. You think it's gonna be like this, but it's actually like this. So, um, yeah, so we'll get the basics of moving down. Um, you wanna keep moving, like, no matter what, just keep moving, because you never know when a sniper's moving, especially when you're in open area like this. Never know when a sniper's looking, but don't be predictable. Like, try to mash up your move, like, sometimes just stop, sometimes Because right? they try to, they try to, um, they try to predict your movement so that when they, by the time they press the trigger, you're on their crosshair, so you just stop and you might miss. It might. I'm not guaranteeing it. Others just point at you and they just shoot, which I don't understand how. But, yeah, that's a basic movement, and we're gonna move on to aiming now. I'm gonna run to the back here. By the way, this map is called Belfer Square. I like this map, it's really beautiful. And, um, it's probably the biggest map in Avatar Star, I would have known. It even has the highest, highest, uh, box. Like, it was like an in-game, you know, I'm, I'm talking talk about that later. Anyways, aiming. The, you gotta know the range of your weapons. Like, for, arrow, arrows are pretty much limitless to a point. Like, if I were to just shoot up like this. That's the arrow's range. It can go pretty far if you know what I mean. So let's assume that box right there, like right there, is our enemy. Yeah, you can land pretty far, but it's like it, it leaves a huge blue trail line, which pretty much blows your position and makes it really obvious. Now, we're gonna start with the AK-47. I mean, AK-74. Sorry, guys. Um, this is... You want to combine it, like, I know it's pretty self-explanatory, you gotta keep your, um, crosshair over the person, that dot in the middle, and then the circle around it shows your spread. So, for example, if I were to just shoot right now, everything, there's like, inside that circle should be your spread. Now, see the, see the accuracy on this thing? You gotta use, right, you gotta use this at a longer range. Like, you gotta know that you can shoot people. Like, see that rock down there? You can shoot down there, okay? Like, maybe not all the shots hit, as you can see. But you can hit down there. You can hit that. 
And shotguns can too, sort of. And as you notice, the, I don't know why they made it like this, but it seems like the AK-74 bullets are much slower than the shotgun. Anyways, okay, next weapon, the bow. This thing can be pretty much limitless if you know how to aim it, like me. See that door right there? Get on. Yeah, but it's not ideal because uh, I have a standard of measurement for, um, for weapons in this game, and it's called DPS, damage per second. So, usually main weapons have a really high DPS, like for example, gunners. Gunners will have it. Oh, my friend is on. Um, she'll help us out. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> She's an assassin. But, okay, this video is about, um, guardians. So, here's the basics. Um, this is the basics to aiming. So, once you've got the aiming down, keep it on them. Then you want to try moving. Remember, like, move side to side, jump side to side like this. Makes you hard to aim. Now imagine, like, imagine if that that box is jumping back and forth. That's kind of hard to hit. Yeah, it'll reduce a lot of hits. Same goes for shotgun. Except for shotgun, this is a slightly different gameplay. You wanna, you wanna be able to, do, you wanna be able to, like, get as much pellets as possible into them. Oh, and another thing, a misconception about running up and shooting people. See that? My gun is down there, but it's hitting on the crosshair. This game is weird like that. It hits where your crosshair is, not where your character is pointing. That's a, um, yeah. So you gotta keep that in mind. So when you're, when you're right up to someone, don't do this. No, don't do that. You'll mostly miss. You wanna do this. Point down at them. Like that. Because if you don't, it'll just be like this. And you're just, like, imagine they're just right below you. Right below your gun, you're not even hitting them. Uh, so the best is to do this. Anyways, now, shotguns are kind of different. You gotta imagine shotguns as a, um... If you have any of you, I'm pretty sure a few of you have already played Assassin. But, you wanna get as close as possible, like the knife. But it has a better range than a knife, so you get an advantage over assassins. And another thing to keep track of, when you're aiming, when you're aiming, um, keep the, like, pretend this box is the enemy. Keep as much as the enemy within the box as possible, I mean, within the circle as possible. To land the most amount, oh, there she is. Oh, good. So here's a good example. See, shotguns don't have that range. I don't know what she's doing. See how I keep my crosshair on her? You just do that. Alright, everybody give her a big, big round of applause, and yeah. Um, okay, so let's move on. Now, if you combine both moving and shooting, then you could pretty much do what I like to do. Well, this is my playstyle. This is what I do. Um, I'm gonna pause it here for really quick. Alright, three, two, alright, we're back. Um, she's having a little bit of technical difficulties, but basically, if you can do this, and if you can do this, then you can do my favorite, which does the most amount of DPS, remember, damage per second as possible. Maybe not at first, but... If you have a mouse roll, just keep this up. Keep this up, and it would do a high amount of damage. And see how hard it is for her to hit me? Yeah. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. She's crazy. Anyways, here's a good example of a shotgun. See her right now? See, if they have, if they have low life like this, even at a range like this... Yeah. It's pretty effective. Yeah, so if you're just doing this and you're pelting them, they're just not going down or you can't seem to hit them when they're jumping side to side. Shotgun them, that'll do it. Otherwise, by the time you're doing this, you'll probably at least stick one arrow. And that should do it really well. And I think that pretty much concludes on what's going on. And shotguns are really inaccurate, just to let you know. And, um, yeah. See you guys next time.
Uh, like the video, subscribe, do whatever, and 